Previously on Pokemon Leaf Green, we arrived at Viridian City. Here in Viridian City, we obtained the oak item Oaks Parcel. Then we left Professor Oak's research lab, got the town map from Daisy, and save the game in between these houses. Hey everybody, this is the Savage Dingo. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In our last episode, you already saw in that little recap. That's one of the things I like about this game. And in this episode, we are going to start our journey. Kind of. Even though we already started it. There's something I wanted to get in here that somebody reminded me of over on our computer that we never will use again after this point, I believe. Go to items and withdraw, and we have a free potion! Oh, what a gift! I do believe we'll be using it soon, so... Can't remember when we get the running shoes. I hope we get them soon. Can't remember if we get them in this one at all, but I hope we get them, because I hate walking. And we continue back to Viridian City. Oh. Hey. Is this Pidgey? No. Ratatata. I may just catch one of these as a HM slave, I don't know. But we are going to use Bubble, now that we have it. In our defense fight. How are Bubbles so evil? So now we have a physical and special attack. Okay, just keep using Tail Whip. Tail Whip's good to use. Even though you're not attacking whatsoever and we're just completely destroying you. Now you see the significance of lower level Pokemons. AI. Oh, ha, ha. And if you notice, David's experience is a little low because I accidentally saved over the file and the video was corrupt, so I had to start over. Whoa, and we get another Pokemon. I'm just gonna skip this one because it's another Ratatata. And David almost leveled. Okay, let's see if we can get through here without another random encounter. Sweet. And we are back in Viridian City. I'm going to go ahead and heal David for when we go through the forest. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Yes, I would like to heal. Such a bad pixel. I don't want to see you again. I've told you before. Seeing you means that my Pokemon are gonna faint. Yes, that's a, that's a Mart. What I want to do here is buy some potions. You can buy up to ten, but I'm only gonna buy five, because I want to save some monies. We're also gonna want to buy some antidotes. Not too worried about Paralyze, because... To be honest, I don't think Paralyze was one of the best stats in this game. I mean, it, I think it had a 1 to 4 chance of you getting, or not being able to attack, and I just, somehow I just blew that over. Looks like the old man is up. Well now, I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Hmm? What is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on a poker dex. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I suppose I had better show you then. Weedle. Wild Weedle up here. I don't know why I'm talking in old man voice doing this. Basically, he's going to show you the worst way to catch a Pokemon. I guess since he doesn't have his own, but he's about to get one. I think this is the one of the few times you get to actually see just a person's avatar throwing a Pokeball. 
except for in the safari zone. Which will be coming up later. There, now tell me, that wasn't educational, was it not? And here, take this too. The Tichi TV. Put the Tichi TV in items. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. So we basically just put a TV into our backpack. Great. Da -da -da. I love the music of Root of the general roots. Now I'm gonna see if I can catch a Pidgey just for the sake of having a Pidgey. Ooh, Weedle! I love Weedle, but he's not part of our team, so I'm just gonna bubble him to death. I think water does super effective on that. Nope, never mind. And a uh, string shot. That's all that these Pokemon are gonna do to you, Caterpie and Weedle. They're just gonna string shot you. Constantly. And he was poisoned, that's why I got the antidotes. Now he's just gonna spam it on us. Burger, gur, I hate spammers. Oh, so close! Come on. Survive. String shot, what is the point? I'm already slower. Stupid Weedle. Wild Wheel Vayner. David gained 29 experience and leveled! Now we are going to use a antidote to save his alive. Antidote was used on David. Obviously. And it cured his poison. Well, I'll just search for a Pidgey later. We don't get fly for a good long time, so. Viridian Forest. What do you have to say? I came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get to some Pokemon battles. So. Yep, we're in, this is the first Pokemon, or third and fourth Pokemon you face are bugs. Caterpie. Oh no, a Kakuna. All the... If you meet, well, I guess this is fifth and sixth Pokemon. If you face a Kakuna or a Metapod, all they're gonna do is harden. Easy way around it is just use a special move. If you're using Charmander, you just fire blast them and they're dead. I can't remember what Bulbasaur learns when he gets around level seven or eight. But anything that's not physical will be okay against these guys, because Harden ups defense, not special defense. This is very boring. This reminds me of the episode of Pokemon when, like, the first generation of Pokemon when Ash is facing the other kid with Metapod and all they're doing is Harden. Harden. The Metapod are just sitting there hardening the whole time. And it's just like two minutes of them sitting there watching their Pokemon heart. We found a Pokeball! Now we head back and get her Caterpie. Yes, I called it this time. Wild Caterpie appear. Man, those are creepy eyes. So basically, he's gonna do the same thing as Weedle, only instead of Poison Sting, he's gonna have Tackle. I think. There's a strange shot again. Yep, use attack on said. But since Squirtle has higher defense, it's gonna do two points of damage each time. So, ha! And it's still faster and it uses Drink Shot. It's not gonna wear off until the fight's over. Yeah, stat and abilities like that go away after each battle, I believe. 
and that's why we're able to attack each time first. Let's get out of this stupid grass. So anyway, I felt like crap because this video I did a little speed up so it would make the battles go by faster and the file smaller, but it corrupted the file, so I can't speed it up with the speed button. So, if you don't want to fight this trainer, you can just go on the grass right here. He won't notice you whatsoever, but I'm going to fight him anyway. I'm just going to show you the trainer's name, what Pokemon he has, and then skip the fight. Just because these fights get a little redundant. So this is Rick, the bug catcher, and he has a Weedle and a Caterpie, I believe, so I may be wrong. Okay, as you can see, David nearly leveled again. No, Caterpie can't hack it. I got 72 Pokemon. He leveled once and then he almost leveled to 10, so that's nice. I think at level 16 he evolves to War Turtle. Fight this guy. I'm gonna wanna heal up. Yeah, see, we got a little miniature TV in our backpack. How the heck do you do that? Use it on him. Get him all ready for this next trainer battle. Love the creepy music of this forest. Always. Each of the. I didn't want to see that, but okay. Each of the signs in this forest have trainer tips. Let's see, I want to change the frame just because I can be cool like that. Eh, no, they don't have my favorite, so I'm just going to go with green. There we go. That looks better. Da -na 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 -na. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. This is Bug Catcher Doug. David leveled up twice in this fight. So now he's level 11. And we defeated Doug. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon. And then we got 84 Pokey. Ooh. I may catch another. Ooh, Pokeball. An antidote! Yeah, I may catch another Pokemon just to help with surviving in here. I don't know. Ooh, let's see if I can be ninja. Wah! That was too easy. I'm still gonna fight him. I might be little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. So, who is this? Bug Catcher Anthony. I think he has a Caterpie and a Metapod. I don't know. Also, something I forgot to mention real quick. David learned Withdraw when he leveled up to level 10. Withdraw just basically is the water version of Harden. And it looks cooler because when it's a 3D model, Squirtle jumps in his shell, I think. Anyway, back to skipping the fight. Ooh, David leveled up again! Oh my gosh. He might be a war turtle by the end of this freaking episode. Oh my gosh. But we better heal, because he is extremely low on health. He's a fighter. Potion was used on David. His health went up by 20. Ha ha ha. So, there's nothing really to say about this forest. I don't think it's changed much since Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow. Let's see if we can get through here without hitting any Caterpies or anything. Ah, oh, I had to say something. A Caterpie? Yes, it's a Caterpie. But, I'm going to use this fight to tell you a little story. When I was about 12 or 13, or no, actually I think it was a bit earlier than that. Anyways. I didn't know that Pokemon Green was extremely rare in the US at the time when it came out. And 
I was all excited. Oh, oh, sweet, they finally made a game with my favorite color. Because I had basically all the ones before it besides Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver and Crystal. I was all excited about it. But then I got mad because there was something wrong with the game. Whenever I'd gotten in a fight, that weird error Pokemon you'd see that everybody talks about would show up. Can I fight you? Yep, I am out. Yes, I know Pokemon Evolve. Anyways, I was all excited to play it, and then that error Pokemon showed up, and I thought, oh no, the game is broken. So, I was all disappointed when I played it. I still played through it for about 10 minutes, and I couldn't really do anything because the game was in Japanese. I couldn't read where Bulbasaur's tackle was or where Charmander's scratch was, so I traded in the game, stupid of me, and got Pokemon Silver. So, I was all sad about it. And then I traded silver for red because I didn't understand the night and day concept of the game. I was I was a stupid chat. But anyways, this is Bug Catcher Charlie, and he has a Metapod Caterpie, and I think another Caterpie. So I'm just skipping the fight. And David leveled up once again. Oh my gosh, we went from level. We almost doubled his level, and ooh, water gun. This will help, I think. Let's see, is it special or physical? Close trap with a lot of water, expel forcibly from the mouth. Uh, this doesn't show if it's special or physical. Anyway, I'm gonna get rid of Tail Whip just because I never use it, and it, there's no real point to it. There's better ones. David learned water gun. Player defeated Bug Catcher Charlie. Yay, more money for us. Who, who carries $84 around? And again, how much do we have? Check the wrong spot. Check the wrong spot again. I don't know where to check for my money. <sighs> I'm gonna skip this. Stuff like a Kuna. Freaking love Water Gun now. I almost took him out with one freaking hit. Oh my gosh. Uh, Pokeball. Yes, I knew something was over here. One potion. Who sticks a potion in a freaking Pokeball? Who can? Oh my gosh. Alright, guys in grass. I think you can't skip. Yeah. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Why the rush? This is Bug Catcher Sammy. And he sends out his only Weedle that's like. Why is your Weedle level 9? It should have been a freaking Kakuna by now. Stupid people. Let's see if we can take him out fast. Yes, we can. Water Gun is awesome at this point. It just dominates. Dominate Get to the chopper. He's gonna string shot us to death. That only works in the anime where it works well. I've seen a freaking bee drill use string shot. I don't know how that works. We defeated Bug Catcher Sammy. I give. You're good at this. Of course I am. I'm BA like that. Oh, I was hoping to get out of here. Freaking skip, Weedle. Hate you. I think I'm gonna end it here just because we're going a wee bit over the limit I would like, so. Let's see if we can make it there real quick. Yes, we're in pewter shitty, sweet. Alright, next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we may challenge the gym leader. I don't know. I think we can do it. You're just Squirtle, so... I'll see you guys then. Those kids over there in the corner.